Hi, welcome to America Reads Fun Learning Activities. We are college students that create learning activities for kids. Our activities focus on reading, writing, and math. My name is Liz Marie, and today we're gonna learn about whales. So let's get started. Today, we're going to try our best understanding a story. You will need any blank sheet of paper, something to write or draw with, colored pencils or crayons. If there's an adult with you, then you can use construction paper, scissors, glue or tape. For us to understand a story, it's better if we ask ourselves these questions. Who? About a person or an animal that is in our story. What? What was the story about? Or, for example, with what do you eat soup? A fork or a spoon? When? A time or season? The morning or 1 p.m., for example? where a place like your house school or the park why something happens why why did the dog cross the street for example how something happens how how do you eat your breakfast cold or warm how do you get to school now i know this may seem like a lot and if this is too hard to remember, there are six questions, right? And you can just look at your hand and imagine that each finger is a question, like who, what, when, where, and why. And on the palm of your hand, there can be another one, like how. Now, we are going to practice what we learned. We will be learning about whales today, and we're going to become whale experts. So let's begin reading a little story about whales. Whales are really big animals that live in the ocean. They are warm-blooded, have hair, and breathe air like us. Whales live with their friends and family. Another name for these groups is pods. Whales sing to communicate. And since they are so big, whales can swim many miles. Now that we know a little bit about whales, we're gonna make a little activity, okay? So take out your materials. Now, let's answer these three questions thinking about what we just learned about whales. Let's answer them together. How do whales communicate? We learned that whales communicate by singing. Where do whales live in? Whales live in the ocean. Whales live in groups. We learned that they live with their friends and family. What are those groups called? We learned that those groups are called pods. Now that we learned some things about whales, we are going to draw one together. But first, I wanted to show you some pretty whales in the ocean so you have an idea. This is one. This is another one with her baby. And here's another one. We're not going to be drawing whales like these. We're going to draw some whales more like these ones. Okay, so let's get started. Now let's begin drawing our whale. I'm going to do the outline with my pencil very quickly. And now we'll be going over it with a marker. Now you can see it more clearly. I'm going to start with 
the tail of the whale and it's it looks something like this now remember what that whales are really big so they also have really big bellies like this we're first going to do some lines and connect them so it's way easier to draw the whale now whales don't have arms like us they have flippers like this now let's finish connecting our lines now we have the body of the whale let's give it a little eye like this and i'm gonna give our whale a really big smile because they're really happy you're here learning with us today and there you go now that we have our whale I'm gonna cut it out and paste it on a blank sheet of paper you don't have to do it you can leave it there or you could also draw it on a blank sheet of paper and color it as you want so I will be cutting out the whale like this now that we cut out our whale we are going to paste it here on a blank sheet of paper and this way the whale is gonna stand out more well 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 so now that we have our well let's go through what we learned we learned today that whales can sing and we also learned that whales live in the ocean and in groups we also learned that we can ask questions like who, what, when, where, why, and how to improve our reading skills. You did a great job today. Thank you for joining us to learn today. Please like this video and subscribe to our channel. And until next time, bye.